It's a pretty annoying feeling in Football Manager when you sign a wonder kid, you expect them to go on to be a world-class talent, but it doesn't quite go the way that you expected. Well, don't worry, because today I'm going to give you 11 players, a full team of what I'm calling reliable wonder kids in FM24. These are players that have a fixed potential, not a potential range. In most cases, wonder kids have a range where their potential can fall when you load up a save, but these guys have got a specific number then every single save they will reach so you can guarantee at least some level of success with all of these young players. And of course, even though it is the most boring position on the pitch to talk about, we have to start off with a goalkeeper. Now, just to let you know, I'm not going to show you the exact potential number for all of the players in this list. I'm only going to do it for this guy here. I'm not going to spoil the rest for you. But all you need to know is they all have a fixed potential number that will lead to them becoming a very good player in the future once they're developed. But of course, like I say, we start with our goalkeeper. It's Tiark Ernst, the player of it since the winter update has appeared in a few videos that we've done because he's a very good option already the first choice at Hertha Berlin in the second tier of Germany he's a 20 year old German with good ability all around fairly tall likes to rush out isn't too bad when it comes to the ball playing side of being a goalkeeper that you need to be a modern day keeper he's only going to cost you five million the good thing about him of course is that he is already first choice at Hertha so he'll get some game time he'll develop well a lot of goalkeeper wonder kids get stuck without game time but Ernst will be getting it he has got a fixed potential number he's the only one that I'll show you in today's video but this is what I mean look he's got a fixed potential of 147 in most saves most wonder kids that are on the younger side 17 18 their potential is rolled on a dice between a certain range at the start of your save so it's different every time but these guys have a fixed potential in this case 147 moving into defense and we have Alejandro Francis a 20 year old Spanish center back playing for second division team Zaragoza now he like many of you others in this list are a little bit older in the wonder kid spectrum they're no longer 17 18 most of these guys are 20 or 19 and for that reason sports interactive can give them that fixed potential rating as they're fairly confident where these guys are going to end up now he is clearly a player of talent because he's wanted here by barcelona five million quid is not a bad fee for a guy that can play right back and center back pretty good on the ball isn't necessarily stand out in one particular area but age 20 with the potential that he has he will be i'm not necessarily going to say world class in his position but he will be a very good, let's say, Premier League level player. If we were using the Premier League as an example, he'd be playing for a top half club pretty comfortably at full growth and probably be one of their best defenders. He's an absolute star. But you'll have to be quick because Barcelona is, of course, going to be a pretty ideal destination for any young Spanish player. Also in our defence is Amalian. He's 20 years of age, playing for RB Salzburg. This is Duanda Guindo, who plays in the Austrian divisions. You're going to be able to sign him for about 8 million quid. He's a left back that can also play centre back ideally does want to be a full back bombing forward is he necessarily going to be creating a lot of chances maybe not it does suggest wing back on defense might be his best duty due to his low crossing but he's a decent passer he's going to work hard and physically he's very well balanced for a player that's only 20 again another one with some good potential i've had him in a few of my saves and he's never really let me down always turned into a good quality player like i say you can sign him for about 10 million and within a few years this guy will be worth 30 40 pretty comfortably he's not going to be the world's best left back but he will be one of the best in his position. Before we continue with the rest of this list though, if you guys could show your support for us and smash the like button on this video, we'd massively appreciate it. This time of the year in FM content, views tend to be a little bit down anyway, so any help that we can get from you guys by hitting that like button will really, really help us out. Make sure you subscribe as well for daily Football Manager content and comment down below which Wonder Kid you found to be reliable in this year's game. It's Wonder Kid Central over at RB Salzburg, the Austrian club also hold Amar Dedic who's one of the most well-known players in this list I would say he's been around FM for a couple of years now and is a very very bright young talent a bit more pricey than some of the others sitting at about 17 or 18 million wanted by Villa but there's a reason why he is a bit more pricey and that's because he is guaranteed world-class ability in that left back spot his potential is fixed at a very decent level so if you sign him in your save no matter if you have to pay 90 million or 16 you are going to get a player more than worth that value he's really good good with both feet as well actually his best foot is his right foot that's why he's often found playing in an inverted role he's got some really good attributes all around good technically mentally and physically determined as well a leader at only the age of 20 and already a regular international for his country this guy is the real deal and one of the best fullbacks you can get in this year's game speaking of well-known players there's another one in our defense any fm player this year will tell you martin Vitic is an absolute beast and after the winter update he has been given a fixed 
potential when every single save you can get a world-class centre-back for only six or seven million. He's 20 years of age playing for Czech club Sparta Prague and once you sign him you get a man that's absolutely dominant physically, really good mentally and whilst he isn't the best on the ball he's certainly not too bad. Now before the winter update he was a bit of a hit and miss wonder kid because of that potential range. Sometimes he would never end up leaving Sparta Prague, other times he'd be Real Madrid centre-back. Now he is just consistently going to be a top level top six Premier League defender at full growth wanted by Liverpool and PSG here that tells you everything you need to know about just how good this guy can be. Moving into midfield another wonder kid boosted in the winter update to have a fixed potential this is someone I haven't actually looked at before I don't believe it's Giovanni Fabian who plays for Bologna now age 20 he's going to cost you just over 10 million but he is absolutely brilliant in that midfield role he can play a lot of roles well because he's really well rounded physically and mentally especially great off the ball work really good work rate now he isn't the best creator he isn't the best goal scorer or dribbler but he's got all of it at a decent level combined with the fact that he can throw in a tackle and he's got good heading I think box to box midfielder could be the perfect role for him and you can see once highlighted it looks like it suits him down to the ground Bologna clearly have a big talent on their hands but if you can bring him to your team and develop him you could be looking at an unreal midfielder the balance that he's got in his attributes the potential that he's guaranteed to reach in every save provides Providing he gets the right development, which of course is a big thing I should mention, as much as these guys have fixed potential, they need to play so that they develop their attributes to a point where they can hit that potential. It's not guaranteed just by sitting there with no game time, they'll suddenly hit it. So make sure these guys are getting some first team football and when they do, they will turn into absolute superstars and you can already see Giovanni Fabian has got the potential to do exactly that. Next to him in the midfield is going to be Merlin Roll, the German 20 year old playing for Freiburg in the Bundesliga. You can sign him for around 11 or 12 million quid again another one that really does suit that box-to-box -box role well he can pass he can tackle great technique finishing first touch dribbling he's got good teamwork work rate as well the off the ball is decent and all of the attributes that you would want from a midfielder he's got he's good in the air he's pacey and he's fairly strong too and now in terms of the fixed potential ratings these guys are given he's got one of the highest in this list and is pretty much guaranteed to be a top six premier league level midfielder with the right development and you can see the aspects of that coming through here already. Being a regular starter at Freiburg, he'll get football, he'll develop and he'll continue his growth. And by the way that he looks right now, once he has grown a little bit, he is going to be a super well-rounded midfielder. Combine him with Fabian that we just looked at and you will have an unreal midfield for the next 10 years really. Up next is Dylan Bakwa, who plays for Strasbourg, recently signed by the club though, so you won't be able to sign him instantly. Now he's someone that I've used on my own rebuilds on my channel, which subtle plug, you can find linked in the description if you want to check it out. He recently did a Strasbourg rebuild and he turned in to an unreal talent and you can see the basis for that already. He's got everything he needs to be dangerous in the in-game engine this year. The pace, the acceleration, the first touch, the dribbling. You'll look at him and you'll go seven finishing. He can't be any good. Trust me, this guy in one of my rebuilds builds hit over 30 goals in a season even with seven finishing just because he's got the attributes to destroy any fullback that he comes up against now there's two things you can do with him either use him as a winger on this left hand side or train him potentially as an inside forward or inverted winger on the right because he is stronger on his left foot with 14 crossing I think he played that position really well like I say you can't get him instantly from the French club because he's only just signed from Bordeaux but give it some time when you can make a move for him he will be an unreal player and for those interested you by 2027 he actually leaves as a free agent so that's something to bear in mind in some of your saves you might be able to pick him up for free but that'll be way way down the line I say get him early develop him and just watch him flourish at the highest level. Marin Petkov is a 19 year old our first one in the video the first player that isn't 20 he's a Bulgarian international playing for Levski Zafia out in Bulgaria where he's been for a number of years now he's a fantastic bargain option about three million quid he isn't on a huge contract either he's a left-footed player that likes to play on the right and whilst he does start off injured once he's back up and firing he will be one of the Bulgarian side's best players as an inside forward I think he's fantastic and he's super versatile as well he can score he can pass he can take a penalty a free kick a corner he can do it all is he particularly amazing mentally and physically not really but he's really well balanced and for the price you can get him for he's already got five traits on him are they necessarily all good traits that's for you guys to argue and discuss but at age 19 you can't ask for too much more for three million quid guaranteed potential every time to be a pretty good player at full growth he's not going to be Mbappe he's not going to be Haaland but he could certainly do a job in the Premier League at the highest level one player that can be
be a world-class player, almost guaranteed though, is Facundo Farias of Inter Miami. He is learning from Messi, Busquets, Alba and Luis Suarez and he's already got bags of talent on his own. He's a right-footed attacking midfielder, a true number 10 who can create a chance with 13 passing vision and 16 technique. Great dribbling ability, finishing, long shots, first touch. He is a fantastic player, really good mentally as well, pretty determined too that's going to help him in his development and you can sign him for only a few million quid. Now he is a recent buy from the MLS club. He hasn't been there for too long. So whether you can get him straight away is another question. Let's find out now. Yeah, he has only just joined into Miami. So you'll have to wait a little bit. But once the first transfer window hits, try and bring him in for any price. Even if it ends up being 10 million, you're still going to get a very good player. He will be an elite level midfielder at full growth. Think almost Paolo Dybala kind of level, the way that he ends up being a very good player and someone you all need to look at in your saves if you want a reliable attacking midfielder. And finally, my favourite striker with fixed potential is 20-year-old Matthias Arezo, who for the last year in FM24 is a wonder kid. He has been for the last three or four years in Football Manager. This guy's going to be a wonder kid for the ages, someone that we spoke about for years. Now he's 20 at Granada, an important player in the Spanish First Division. There's a reason that he's going to cost you 20 million, and that is because he is already a really good forward player at a decent side. Of course, he's got good potential as well to get even better than what he is currently. He can be a world-class striker no doubts about it even with pretty little growth to be honest he's already got some great attributes decent in the air fairly pacey really good technically really good mentally everything you could want from a forward Matthias Arezo has shout out to him because it's probably the last time we'll ever cover him in a video now that he's no longer going to be a wonder kid in FM 25 as he reaches the age of 21 but FM definitely got it right he's an international playing in the first division of Spain what a star that's Matthias Arezo and that was our team of 11 football managers manager 24 reliable wonder kids let me know who's been the most reliable for you in the comments down below thank you for watching and i'll see you next time goodbye